Hi, my name is Corey from East Coast DIY. If you have a cabinet or a pantry that looks like this and the side is blank, I'm gonna show you a really easy, inexpensive DIY that you can do to give it some character. This project cost me about $40. The first thing I did, which I don't show in this video, is on the right side, you'll see that piece of stained wood. That's a one by three. I cut it to size and then stained it and just attached it to the cabinet with wood glue and also a brad nailer. After that one by three is in place, I'm now just taking measurements from that one by three on over to the side of the cabinet. And I'm taking these measurements for the five pieces of one by two that will be horizontal on the pantry. I already pre-measured where my five pieces will go. So I'm just writing these measurements directly on the pantry since that will be covered with the wood. Here are my measurements and I'm going to be cutting a piece of one by two as well as a piece of PVC outside corner molding for each one of those measurements. So here's what it's going to look like. I have a piece of one by two, and then I will be sitting a PVC outside corner molding right on top of it. I'll be attaching it with construction adhesive and also my brad nailer. That outside corner molding can be used for a picture ledge or if you wanna lean up anything against it. I'm using my miter saw to cut five pieces of one by two to those measurements that I just took on the side of the pantry. I will also be cutting the PVC outside corner molding for the four bottom measurements that I took on the pantry, I won't need the top measurement because I have something else planned. Now that all of my cuts are made, I'm just using construction adhesive and also my brad nailer to attach the PVC directly to the top of that one by two. And I'm doing this for all four bottom measurements that I took on the pantry. Now it's time to attach them to the pantry. And you wanna make sure that you have these spaced out evenly. Again, I'm using four of these. However, you can do less or more if you're wanting different spacing. I'm making sure that they're level. And then I also used wood glue and my brad nailer to attach it to the side of the pantry. I'm using one inch brad nails because I don't want it to go all the way through the pantry. I'm pretty much just using them until the wood glue dries. I'm putting one on each side and then also one in the middle. And I'm just repeating the same process for all four pieces. Now for the very top. So I put the top one by two up there. I just did not attach the PVC outside corner molding to that because we're going to be doing something different. And somehow I missed recording this, but you're going to want to take a measurement of that very top rectangle that's up there. You're going to need a measurement of the width and also the height. This next step is definitely the most difficult. I'm going to be making a bunch of V's out of one by twos. So all of these cuts are going to be at a 45 degree angle. And what I did is I used that cardboard box to mimic the same measurement that I just took from that very top rectangle. I found that it was a lot easier laying it out this way rather than going back and forth trying to make cuts. However, another way you could do it and probably a lot easier is if you got a really thin piece of Luon and had that cut to the same exact size as your top rectangle and then just glue the pieces of one by two directly onto that. And then using a jigsaw or a circular saw, you could just make the cut all the way around. But this was the look that I was going for. And now it's just putting this puzzle back together on this top section. Before I attach them to the cabinet, I'm just kind of placing them where I had them just to make sure that everything fits in place. And I will tell you that this was a little difficult. I had to go back and forth a few times to make a few additional cuts. This is where I think that maybe assembling this on a piece of Luon and then already having it glued down and then just gluing the Luon onto the side of the cabinet would definitely be a lot easier. Once I got the pieces exactly where I wanted them, to attach them to the side of the cabinet, I'm also using the wood glue and my brad nailer. So now that the puzzle was done, it's time to decorate. And because this is right by my front door, I'm going to be adding three hooks to use it to hang the keys. I also wanted to add a pop of color and some greenery. So I went to Hobby Lobby and picked up a few items. I'm just screwing in smaller screws right into that one by two. 
and then leaning the pictures into that outside corner molding using it as a picture ledge. So here's what the side of the cabinet looks like now and I love the way that it turned out. It adds just enough character to the otherwise boring side of the pantry. And for more budget-friendly DIYs, make sure to follow me here on YouTube, also TikTok at East Coast DIY for daily posts. Thank you so much for watching, and if you have any questions, leave them in the comments.